The latest World Health Organization estimates indicates that non-communicable diseases such as heart disease, stroke, diabetes and cancers kill about 41 million people each year with cardiovascular diseases accounting for most of the deaths. In the Bono East region, the figures as available to the Regional Health Directorate is alarming. Regional Director of Health Services Dr. Fred Admarko Boatin says a significant percentage of the number of people with heart failure in the region are related to hypertension. Comorbid issues, including non-communicable diseases, are something that we have to address. In fact, if you look at the figures for the country, about 75% of people with heart failure, the cause is related to hypertension. And then you can also look at other conditions like cerebrovascular accident, stroke, renal impairment and other issues. These are all complications of hypertension. Therefore, you see that if you're able to identify people with this as early as possible and manage them, then all these complications should be averted. He charged the masses to adopt the habit of adult weighing annually to routinely check their BP statuses to help address the deaths recorded through non-communicable diseases. We are using this platform to advocate and to tell everybody that, look, every year, your birthday, go for what we call adult way. When is your birthday? If you have not checked your blood pressure, if you have not checked your sugar, if you have not even checked your weight, your height, then count it as that you have not celebrated your birthday. And so that if we can incorporate this also in our normal routine activities we do as an individual, then we will also go a long way in addressing this. Senior Technical Advisor for Healthy Heart Africa, which is being implemented by PATH Ghana and funded by AstraZeneca, Dr. Robert Yabua says with the awareness level very low across the country, more needs to be done to help improve the situation. The Healthy Heart Africa program essentially is an access program. Uh, we are seeking to improve the quality of services for hypertension. And this we are doing through mainly awareness creation so that people are aware of their status as hypertensives. And this work is very important in Ghana because as you know, the awareness level for hypertension is on the low side. With men, only 14% of men are aware of their status as hypertensives. For women, it's slightly better with 37% being aware. So there's a lot of work and there's a great opportunity to ensure that we are able to screen persons, let them be aware of their status as hypertension, and then link them to care for control of their BPs. Adonti Hin of the Tichiman Traditional Council and Chairman of the Location, Nana Bafo Asari Tri Brimpon II, assured that he will lead in various sensitization campaigns to help create more awareness amongst the populace. As, as a traditional ruler, you know, we regularly meet our people, and I'm going to take it upon myself, as also a community development officer, to sensitize the people they need for them to do regular checks so that they can also know how best they can check themselves from getting hypertension. This is non-communicable diseases. So if you are able to know and live very well, checking the food that you eat, doing regular exercises, it is going to help you, alleviate you from getting hypertension. Participants were also screened and urged to visit the various wellness clinics across the region regularly. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.